ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Today's one is a bit of a big boy. Coming from Pembrokeshire, it's another first producer for the channel. It is Gethin's Pembrokeshire Cider Company, and today I am trying out a bottle of their 2019 Vintage Cider. And yet, the ABV is not lying there, You're not, your eyes aren't deceiving you. This is a rather, well, a pretty weak, 8.2% ABV. So yeah, that is up there with the likes of K Cider and uh, Henry Wilson's Vintage in strength. And as you can see, it comes in 500ml bottles. But does strong equal good? I'm gonna find out. So this is cider made in Pembrokeshire from freshly pressed apple juice, not from concentrate, always a good sign, suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and celiacs. So let's just see what it says here. It says, the finest crop of this year's harvest has been slowly fermented, then patiently matured in oak casks to develop a medium dry cider with a deep, rich character and robust bittersweet apple notes. Apparently, the apples used were Ellis Bitter, Browns, Dabnet, and Afal Enli. I have never heard of that variety before. But yeah, Dabnet, quite a common um, cider apple to find in there. Browns, good single variety, give some really nice uh, robust notes there. Ellis Bitter, I don't think I've ever had uh, anything with uh, that apple in before. So yeah, interesting to see what this offers. Gethin, his family and friends have really enjoyed making this cider. We hope you enjoy drinking it as just as much. Um, yeah, excellent. So, uh, this is, yeah, Pembrokeshire Produce Certification Ware or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, let's get this uh, bottle cracked open and just see what I make of it. Oh, yeah, 8.2%. Whew, smell it already. That's smelling, um, that is smelling like a vintage. That really is uh, smelling like a vintage. So, yeah, obviously, a little bit late to the party, 2019 vintage, but you know what? Sometimes with these strength ciders, you find that if you leave them to age a little bit, they can develop a bit more character in it, so we'll, we'll see. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any sediment in there. That's a bit of a dirty glass again. I, I really must get a better tea towel, honestly. Anyway, yeah, let's um, look in. It is a uh, lightly sparkling cider, as you can see. The colour is actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a really nice, deep gold, dark amber colour. But actually, that's a uh, dark straw, light golden colour, to be fair. So yeah, bit on the lighter side when it comes to a vintage, but is it lighter in taste? Well, let's get the smell first. Right, okay, so the smells are actually quite subdued for a vintage. I'm not really getting much in, yeah, much in the way of aroma. There's a very subtle oaky aroma there, but it's very, very faint. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a touch of toffee there, but aside from that, yeah, not really getting a lot, so Let's see if it's in the taste, shall we? Cheers, everyone. 8.2%. Gonna take my time with this one. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah. You can taste the strength in this one. Whoa. Okay. Okay, and it's still developing. Whoa. Oh, this is quite nice. Wow. Woo. Oh yeah, that is, that's a strong one. Wow. Um, it's quite sweet, I'm not gonna lie. A medium dry, wouldn't have said that that was a medium dry. It does taste a lot sweeter, especially initially on the first taste. It's got quite a, Quite a thick body behind it. I'm not sure, I mean, it says it's not from concentrate, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they've added sugar into it. It really does taste like they've added sugar into it, but I'm not sure, but it is very sweet initially. Big, big punchy alcohol notes all throughout. Really, uh, Really hitting your taste buds hard there. I can definitely tell that this is an 8.2% cider. Oaky, woody esters, especially on the back end. Quite a soft tannic presence at the end, actually. I was expecting it to be really robust and rich. 
but they are quite subdued and stuff. There is definite, there is a definite thickness uh, to the body. It's not just full, it does taste quite thick in the mouth, which isn't unpleasant, but it's a little bit surprising uh, can, uh, coming from this sort of thing. Wasn't expecting it at all. There is a night, a little touch of acidity just initially as well, but it's mainly all about this strength and this sweetness. Bit of vanilla. Bit of vanilla initially. Caramel. Caramel, bit of toffee. Yeah, and then the, uh, then the woody, woody oakiness uh, comes in on the finish as well. Lingers on lingers and lingers and lingers i can feel it warming my um warming my stomach as it's going down this is definitely a cider not to be messed with sometimes ciders of this strength they do hide the strength really well this one doesn't this is all about hitting you in the face with that strength so yeah if you like your really strong ciders you're gonna really like this one yeah it's it's definitely an unusual one it's an unusual vintage i've not um had flavors like this before um but yeah it's quite enjoyable i say so let's get a final taste for a final verdict yeah as it's slightly warming up as well i'm getting more flavors so a subtle smokiness a little touch of leather just underneath everything as well um, yeah, all sort of married together really well. There's uh, no real overpowering flavour apart from the um, <laughs> the alcohol burn that you can actually uh, feel in your mouth. But overall, yeah, a really well-made cider. You can definitely tell that it's, uh, it definitely means business. So go into this with a, you know, with a little bit of trepidation because it's probably going to blow your head off. But I don't care, it's nearly the weekend, so I'm just going to enjoy this one. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit of really nice. It's a really well made cider. It's enjoyable. The only thing that is letting it down for me is that it is that thick sort of body behind it. It's hard to describe. I say it's not full. It doesn't feel full in the mouth, but it's just this little thickness to it, it's like almost syrupy maybe. That's the only thing that's letting it down slightly. But apart from that, great flavours, and I do still recommend it. Uh, with that said, Geffen's 2019 Vintage Cider is getting a seven out of ten from me. Uh, I have. Another one of theirs to uh, try out a little bit later on as well. I think it's their Bone Shaker, which is to do with bicycles and whatnot. So I think that's their sort of theme, obviously, apart from this one. So watch out for that in the future. But until then, that's another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. Hope you liked it. And as usual, I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, yeah. Well, this is probably going to last me the rest of the evening. So whatever you're doing, hope you have a good one. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.